As I work through Webflow client projects, I'm always thinking of ways that I can add more value to my work by making the websites I build easier for clients to maintain and update themselves, and ensuring that it's set up in a way that still works great years down the line. You should be able to comfortably hand off websites to your clients while knowing that they aren't gonna break it as soon as they get their hands on it. And so you can add a lot of value to your clients just by building a system that they can understand and use themselves. Now, not every client is gonna to wanna to maintain a website themselves, but by putting the time in and building a straightforward system, you're making it easier for either you or your clients to make updates. So here's the three ways I believe that you can add more value to your client projects. Number one is providing a website style guide so that your client has a place that they can go back to and see how the system is set up. Number two is setting up a drag and drop symbol system so that clients can build new pages off of the pages that have already been built. And number three is doing a Webflow walkthrough session so that your client knows roughly how Webflow works and they can ask any burning questions that they have. You don't need to teach them to the point where they're experts, just to the point where they feel like they understand your system and can maintain the website themselves. So let's jump into these three points now. So number one is adding in a style guide to the Webflow project. Now this is both helpful for you as you're actually building out the website and it's also gonna be helpful for your clients if they ever need to go into the designer and update anything on the design side. And so here I've outlined all of the different heading styles that I've used in my project. And as I go down, I've outlined all the other styles that I'm using in my project, the different text styles, rich text, the colors and the buttons. And very easily they can see how the system is built and how they can add new content to the website if they ever need to. If you've never set up a style guide inside of Webflow before, I have a clonable in the Webflow showcase that you can copy and also a tutorial going through how you can actually use it and add it to your website. And number two is adding in the drag and drop style symbol system. And so I've gone through and I've created all of these different pages for my client. And these pages are made up of different sections stacked on top of each other. And so it's not very difficult for me to convert all of these sections into symbols so that if a client wants to create a new page, they can just drag in any of the sections that I've already built and they won't have to try and build it themselves. And so to do this, I'm just gonna go through and convert all of the sections into symbols and then create a page where I can collect all of the symbols. So I've gone through all the pages that I've built and I've turned the sections into symbols and now I can drop all of those sections on a single page so that the client knows exactly all of the symbols they have to work with. And so I've added all of those in, and now when a client wants to create a new page, they can simply duplicate an already existing page, or you can add in an empty page for them which they can duplicate. So let's duplicate this, call that new page, create that one, and I'll click on my wrapper, and now I can start adding in the symbols. And now they can unlink these symbols and change any of the content on this page. And now doing this, they can easily create as many new pages as they want to based on those pages that you've already built. And now thirdly, doing a Webflow walkthrough session with them. So you've built this amazing website for your client and you can just hand it off to them and wish them the best, but it's much better if you actually go through it with them together and show them exactly how it works, let them ask any questions that they have, and to make it even better, you can record it so they have a record of it that they can go back to at any time and remember exactly what you guys talked about. Now, if you have a Mac, you can easily do this using QuickTime by opening up QuickTime and then from the drop down doing new screen recording, 
or using Zoom, you can easily record the session that you guys are doing together. Let me hit record. Now, when I'm doing recorded sessions with my clients, we'll always start by going through the editor as that's the simplest way to actually show how to update and maintain the website. And then we'll touch briefly on the Webflow designer. But rather than focusing on every element inside the designer, I'll usually focus on just the system that I've built, how to update pages and how to create new pages. And you can make these sessions as in-depth as you want, but I usually do half an hour of walking through the editor and the designer, and then half an hour with any other questions that the client has. And that way I know that the client feels comfortable and confident with taking on the website themselves going forward. So those are the three ways that I like to add more value to the client projects that I do. And I'd love to know other ways that anyone else adds value to their client projects. So feel free to send me an email or leave a comment below.